Hello again, it's Regan here, and um, so I'm going to do my Who Am I video. So basically, this is just something that, I mean, I guess people do it, but I kind of just made up the Who Am I video part. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be telling you things about myself. So first of all, my name's Reagan. Um, I'm 15 years old. I'm about to be a sophomore in high school after the summer's over. Um, let's see. My favorite color is pink. More hot pink, but I like pink, all kinds. Um, I am such a theater nerd. Um, I love Broadway, musicals, plays. Both my parents were drama majors in college. My dad was a Christian drama major and my mom was a regular drama major. Um, so, let's see what else. Um, yeah, I've been acting since probably fourth grade. Um, funny thing, I don't know why, it was just kind of in my blood, like, I knew my parents did drama majors, but I had never done anything besides, like, skits in church, um, little church skits and all of that, and so I found out that a community theater the next town over was going to be doing a hillbilly play, and I was like, well, maybe I should go audition, and I got a part, um, and it wasn't, like, a small part, it was... The play was called Home Sweet Possum Holler, and it was written by one of the ladies in the theater. And I got the part of one of the daughters, and she was like the clean one, the one that cleaned the entire house and tried to make sure the family stayed together, so that was fun. Um, and I did two runs of The Elves and the Shoemaker, the musical. I did one in that same community theater, and I played Loretta LaPointe, and she was a ballerina. Um, and then the next time I was in it, I played Snirella, who is this landlord that is trying to take away the house from these two people that are poor and have no money, and she's the villain of the play, and that was at a different place. That's where I am now. That's when I did that. Um, then I transitioned to a different town. I moved a lot when I was a kid, so I went to another town, and the first community theater role that I got um, was Gisela in The Twelve Dancing Princesses, the musical. Um, she was princess number nine, but she had a name. Um, her name was Gisela, and she didn't. She was a small part, but it wasn't really a musical because they just added in songs, like popular songs, like girls just want to have fun and that sort of thing. Um, but it was really fun to do. And then I got to do like my first major play, um, well, major musical. I got a chance to be in Footloose, and I played Wendy Jo, who is one of Ariel's best friends. Um, and that was really fun. That was the first major musical I'd ever gotten to be in. Um, let's see. Then after that, I did three runs with The Curious Savage, which is a play, and it's a really great play. It's about an old woman who, her husband left her all of his money, and um, she takes it, and her kids want it, but she won't give it to them, so they put her in a loony bin, so that she'll eventually tell them where it is, but she won't. And I'm not going to tell you any more of the story. Go look it up on YouTube if you want to watch it. My version's not on there, but if you want to see it, it is a really good play, and it's on YouTube. Um, so the first time I was in it, I played Jeff. Um, Jeff is an army pilot who is in the, arm, the loony bin. And um, he thinks he has a scar on his face because he's the only one that survived a big accident, but he doesn't. And he's actually... No, I won't give that part away. That's a spoiler alert. So I'm not going to say it. Um, but yes, he was a guy. That was my first guy role and my only guy role as of far, as of yet. And it was pretty fun and it was different. And um, it wasn't necessarily my favorite, but I did like it. Um, and then my mom was a drama teacher at a high school. And they had just gone through their third cast because people kept quitting so even though I was in about sixth grade at the time my mom asked me to come in and do a part and so I ended up being Fairy Mae who is this normal plain looking girl she's not ugly or anything but um she thinks she's the most beautiful thing in the world and she's a pathological liar and she's in the loony bin and I did get to do that and that was really fun that is probably one of my favorite rules I love it and then the third time I did it, which was here, um, I got to play Mrs. Savage, Mrs. Ethel Savage, who is the lead. She's the one that gets put in the loony bin, and I doubled it with another girl who is a senior this year. And it was really fun to work with her because she's a fun girl. I love her. Her name's JC. And 
Mrs. Savage was a very interesting part, and it was also a very hard part, but I really did enjoy doing it. And, um, let's see. Then for Christmas, we got a grant from Macy's from $1,000 for our school here to do Yes, Virginia the Musical, which if you don't know what that is, it's about a little girl who writes a letter to a newspaper editor. It's a, based on a true story about asking whether Santa Claus is real. And he goes through a lot, the newspaper editor does, until he t finally tells her, yes, Santa Claus is real. Because if you believe in him, he exists. Um, and so I was not in that one. We just did elementary cast, um, kindergarten through eighth grade. And um, I was, however, the music manager. I played all the music, and I did have a microphone to sing along in case the kids forgot the words. And um, it was really fun. I loved that show. Um, we didn't, however, do the best, but it was really fun to do. Um, let's see. I'm just telling you about my drama experience right now. Um, I'll get to other stuff, I promise. Uh, hmm. And then um, we were planning on doing Annie Jr., but not enough kids signed up. We're going to try to do it again this Christmas, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to. Um, my mom just got the librarian position at my school, so we are going to do authors' birthdays and things, like little skits and readings and stuff, so I will be involved in those. And I am in FCCLA, and I'm thinking about doing a suicide prevention project. And for that project, I'm considering doing a play called Thistle Blossoms, which is about a girl who writes her suicide note as an essay, and she gives it to her teacher who reads it, She's supposed to be going out of town, but she reads it, and she calls the police, and the girl is saved from suicide. It's a very dramatic play. I have not read it yet, but I have heard a lot about it, and I think that that is something that we're going to try to do. My hair looks really bad. I'm sorry. Um, it's a lazy day, so I haven't brushed it or anything. Sorry, there are people walking around out there. I don't want them to hear me. I don't want to disturb anyone. Okay, um, dancing experience. I did do ballet when I was a kid, um... The only thing I really remember is like butterflies and holding a ball and standing on your tiptoes and stuff. I was really little. Um, I did plan on taking um, musical theater dance classes, but we didn't end up doing it. I decided to back out because my brother wanted to do a tumbling class and I decided I would let him have it and I had choir practice. So I decided to drop out of that. Um, and then singing experience. Um, I've been in choir for two years now, um, which involves concert choir which we go to competition for, and then swing choir, which is musical theater. We sing and we dance, and um, it was really fun. I love swing choir the best. And then this year, we went to um, small ensemble contest, and I was in a um, women's sextet. Um, we didn't go to, on to state, but it was fun anyway. I'm glad I did it. Um... Let's see, what other activities am I in? I am in FCCLA, as I mentioned. Um, we actually had a project where we worked with the elementary schoolers, and it was sort of a triathlon sort of project where they had to complete a certain amount of um, books read, laps run, and um, tiger paws earned. We have this thing in our school that is called tiger paws, which they get when they are respectful. We called it Read, Run, Respect, and it was a really fun project. We didn't go to state for that either, but I was glad to be involved in it because we put a lot of work in, and it was fun to work with all the kids. Um, I am in the FCA division of my school, which is Fellowship of Christian Athletes. I am a um, FCA leader and a speaker. I do speak sometimes. Um, let's see... I'm in more than this. Academic Bowl I am in. Um, I was a starter for Academic Bowl last year, and in 8th grade I was a starter, and I captained a couple times both years. And Academic Bowl is really fun. I love it. Mm, let's see. I can't really think of any other clubs and things that I'm in. So let's see. Um, hmm... I feel like I don't really have anything else to tell you, but I know I still have more. Um, my favorite food is fried okra. It's freaking delicious. But I also, hamburgers and spaghetti are next in line. Oh, black olives comes after fried okra, and I love black olives. I will eat them out of the can. And then whipped cream is in there, too. I will eat whipped cream also out of the can. Um, I know I'm weird. 
Um, let's see. Favorite drink. I love Coca-Cola. That's my favorite soda anyway. So, yeah. Um, my favorite TV show. Oh, there's so many TV shows I like. I love Glee, even though Glee hasn't been the best lately. Um, let's see. I love Smash, but Smash was canceled. Let's see. What else? Favorite movie is probably a tie between... No, God's Not Dead is my favorite movie, but Perks of Being Wallflower is next. Favorite book is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. Um, my favorite singer is Leah Michelle. My favorite band is Brighter Brightest, which is not a very good band. But Oh, favorite TV show, next, The Next Step. It's a Canadian TV show. I freaking love it, but I already said that, so... Hmm... I don't really know anything else. Um, can't really think of anything to tell you. Mm. So I guess that's it. Um, except my favorite Broadway musical and movie musical combined is Funny Girl because I love Barbara Streisand. She's my favorite actress and Tom Hanks is my favorite actor. That's all you need to know. Bye guys.